another decluttering video, but I'll be honest with you, I'm just unmotivated today. <laughs> Nobody talks about how hard it is working remotely when also trying to start your own business. The motivation to work for somebody else is dwindling quickly. I just want to dive headfirst into the YouTube channel and my travel blog. I only have like two months left and I just find it harder and harder <laughs> as time goes on. But we're pushing through. We're on the home stretch. I just can't wait until I get to make this my full-time thing. Traveling, editing and filming videos, writing on the blog at different cafes and different cities. It's just gonna be so much better for my mental health. That was just like a little tangent that I had to go on. I've just been struggling today, let's be honest. But today we are decluttering sports equipment. I'm just gonna go and grab everything from the garage. Here is what we are working with. Here's the thing about Dylan and I. I have undiagnosed ADHD and I don't know if he ever got diagnosed or not, but he definitely also has ADD. So we tend to get into fun little hobbies slash sports for a short period of time and we just accumulate then we just kind of forget all about it nice so as much as i want to say that we're using all of this equipment i don't know the last time we used any of it what? i bought my skateboard during the pandemic I decided that i wanted to pick up skateboarding because dylan skateboarded and i really wanted to impress him that's like really cheesy and kind of embarrassing to admit, but yeah, that's the truth. I wanted to pick up skateboarding so that he'd be like, oh, she's cool, she can skateboard. And it was kind of like, oh, you can teach me type of thing. He was a skater boy. This is actually his skateboard and I don't think he's gonna wanna get rid of it cause he still skateboards and he's good at it. I started to learn a little bit, but I fell and sprained my wrist and then I just kind of stopped. The board is pretty sick. I just don't really skateboard, so I might try to sell this. I, I just don't see myself like trying to get back into it. Kind of sad because it's like unrealized potential with skateboarding, but I have to be realistic. I really don't use it. I love playing tennis. I think it's so much fun. I used to play tennis as a kid, but we just don't go. We went like a few times in DC, but it's so hot right now to play tennis. These are really cheap. It's not that expensive of a sport. But I think we should just get rid of these. They're just gonna take up space. We can always buy new ones if we wanna go again, but I just don't see us using these in the next few months. Okay, next we have these disc golfs. I'm not good with the frisbee. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna also suggest that we get rid of them. I think it would be fine to keep like one because they are pretty light. They don't take up a lot of room. This is gonna have to be a Dylan decision. This is all Dylan stuff for indoor climbing. I guess you could also go outdoor. I'm pretty sure these are too small on him. We definitely got into indoor climbing for a little bit, but it, like, let me just say to go climbing, unless you have a membership, it's an expensive sport. It costs up to $30 just to go one time. You're just so sore after one hour that it's like, wow, $30 an hour. We just have been really tight on our budget because we're trying to save for this trip, obviously. So we really just haven't gone, but ultimately these are his decision. Be this stuff is a little bit more expensive. I wouldn't even blame him if he wanted to keep all of it. And last but not least, we have my trusty old snowboard. You might remember me contemplating if I should keep my snowboarding jacket from like two weeks ago that I filmed. I ultimately decided to get rid of it. Let's be honest, I probably haven't used this board in five or more years. And while a part of me really wants to keep it because the like, boards are really expensive, we just haven't gone snowboarding. And if I really want to go, I can just rent stuff. This is really, really big and I don't want to put it in the back of the car just to have it sit in a storage unit for another year. At this point, it's just taking up space. So I think I'm going to get rid of it, but I know I have stuff in here, so I'm going to go through it. I'm going to try to sell it, but do you guys have any recommendations on good places to sell this kind of thing? Because snowboards are based on like, height. I have the boots and everything. I have these goggles. Boles? Bowls? I don't know how to say it. They're actually really nice. 
try to sell these two probably. Should I sell them as a combo thing? Like, I don't know. I've never sold sports equipment like that. It's also Arizona and it's summer. I doubt anyone's gonna wanna buy them right now. Burton boots, they're good. There's nothing wrong with them. They're eights, but they're really tight on me and I'm a seven and a half typically. And obviously I don't need this snowboarding bag either. I was once a snowboarder chick. I'm just gonna have to get rid of it though. I saw this thing on TikTok where it's like, if you're the eldest daughter, you're not sentimental about things. Why is that low key true? I feel like it's so easy for me to get rid of things. Obviously some things are kind of hard. I'm always getting rid of stuff. I just hate clutter and I just don't put a lot of sentimental value on things. So I'm gonna try to sell this stuff. I think that's all for now. It's a Monday and I'm just already over this week. Next week is camping equipment, which is pretty much like the rest of the stuff that's in the garage other than planting stuff, which is all Dylan's stuff and his tools, but that's all stuff for him to go through. He's been doing really good so far with decluttering. He's more sentimental than I am, but he did get rid of a lot of his winter gear, so I'm proud of him for that. I will see you guys next week. Bye!